going on guys, just going to play floor back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about last night's show um, when I met um, the one and only uh, WWE Hall of Famer, Rowdy Roddy Piper in Newcastle at the Stan Comedy Club. Um, me and my mates got in Newcastle for about say half three-ish, we went to a buffet restaurant called Zaza's a Bar which is really good. Had some buffet food there, and before we went, made our way to the Stan Comedy Club, um, and the meet and greet, uh, the guys that you know, the guys that Eros Comedy promoting the tour for a while now. Um, from what I, from what I've heard from reviews from the from the island the the island shows that they did the Scotland shows and the one in Sheffield the day before, um, I heard it was absolutely phenomenal show, and it was, and it was no exception. I mean. Um, Chris Booker and the guys at Eros Comedy were very, 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 were, were very good organisers. Um, yeah, you know, and then there's the guys at PSI events uh, that do other shows as well, which I haven't been to one of them yet. Um, as far as the show goes, I mean, um, the meet and greet was before the show. And what can I say about Rowdy Roddy Piper? What an absolute, genuine, nice guy he was. I mean, it's, it's, it's usually it's coming to him here and He'll have a chat with you. He'll sign you up. He'll sign you wherever you want to sign, and then and um, had your photo taken, which I've got to show you in a moment. And he was just an absolute genuine, down to earth guy. I mean, he abs he abs he uh, spends time with like, the person likes to spend time with his fans and all that stuff and all that etc. Really cool guy. Really cool guy he was. Really really nice guy. Um, and then. There was about 130 people, I think it was, inside the, the stand, comedy club, and soon straight away, uh, Chris Brooker and another guy did a like a opening act before Roddy Piper came out, and basically, um, it, it's um, it's a spoken word, so he told stories about everything about his career and all that stuff, etc. I won't go into further detail because, uh, in case you guys were going to two and uh, um, want to find out for yourself. But at the end of the show, at the end, of, yeah, even though it's supposed to be a Q and A um, at the second half of it, but he, I think the majority of people want to hear more stories, which Roddy was absolutely fine with, because he was, he was so relaxed and so calm, and, and he was so so humbled to hear people talk about himself, and stories of um, of uh, what his experiences like inside the ring and outside the ring, and after the show, he said. Um, he wouldn't have a proper family like thanks to his Western fans and after that he got a standing ovation which was like genuine um, deserving from his standards because Roddy Roddy Piper is one of those top guys that, that built the very foundation of this industry to where it was like if it wasn't for like, the likes of him, Hogan and all that etc. The WWE will probably won't be what it is today. Or pro wrestling in that matter. Um anyway um obviously um there's a couple more dates I know yeah, I got my list so just so I'm organised with these things. Um uh, obviously people are going to the the show tonight um in Manchester at the comedy store in Manchester tonight. Like, they're gonna have an awesome time in there so um tomorrow night um Tomorrow night is at the Glee Comedy Club in Nottingham. I know my good friend of mine, Gavin, Gavin Knotts and Oli Harper, I think they're going to that. They're going to have an awesome time. And then on the 26th, the, the, t he's going to be in London at the Leicester Square Theatre. Um, I know my good buddy Craig, Craig Gravis and his clan and Robbie Rebel, they'll be, they'll be there as well. And then after that, the, he's in Cardiff on the 27th at the Glee Comedy Club in Cardiff. And then the final stop on the tour is on the 28th of July at the Glee Comedy Club in Birmingham. Anyone's got on those shows, they're going to have an awesome ta time because it's, abs like I said, it's absolutely phenomenal show, the Roddy Piper show. I rate him a book. Um, it's one of, the, no, say, one of the nicest general guys I've ever met. Um, was, all the messages I met were, were really nice guys, you know. And, but I think Roddy Piper, along with like, Magnus and Mick Foley and all the other guys that I met, is ranked up there. Definitely ranked up there. Anyway, another for me talking about that. I'm going to show you what uh, what I bought the show and stuff I got signed. Now, this is the real big thing. 
you know, I want to show you guys. Um, firstly, I'm going to show you the photo I got with the hot rod. Uh, that's all me. Apologies for my lazy eyes there. Eh? Like I say, he's a um, true down to earth guy. Yeah, I do have a bit of a lazy eye thing going on. Which, um, but then again, still a good picture nonetheless. <laughs> um, anyway, onto the merch. And that's what I bought a, a, a t shirt there. Um, there are two t shirts there you can buy on the day. And you can also sign eight by ten for him to get for him to get for him to sign in the posters. I went for a t-shirt. This cost me twenty quid. It is the original hot rod t-shirt, which are ones I like very hard to find. And the proof of that, the the organat he was coming even had the hot rod t-shirts made by Fruit of the Loom. I mean, <laughs> I mean they're kind of like rarity if if you get the WWE authentic one. So that one would be good, it's good for the time being. So, yep, yeah, I bought that. There's the other one, t-shirt you can get there is um, the black villain top, which is like the tour top, and it's got like the dates on the back and everything of the whole tour. So, that was the other option. And now what I've got signed, my WWF Wrestling Spotlight Magazine, if you can see that sign there, I signed it to Joe, Roddy Roddy Piper, Hall of Fame 2005. If you can see that there, so yeah, and that is basically it. Um, now to some shout outs to the usual guys of the new, new breed 2004 Punk, Stuart Clemson, Bow 24 Power, Chudderman, Overjobber, Tixie 317, Joe Keeley, um, also to the other guys like Ollie Harper, Craig WWE T shirt guy, Gabby Knotts, uh, Real Ben Reed. Mr. Paul JB44, Vince Omania, Mr. Big Red 1990, um, who else? I always keep forgetting these names. <laughs> really, really do. Also, Robbie, Robbie Rebel. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, and that's basically it. Until the next video, guys, I will see you then. Peace.